All right, so taking a quick look at a smart music light bulb. Basically, it's very close to the same size as a standard light bulb. Um, this one, however, is controllable via your uh, cell phone or you know whatever device you want to connect it with the tablet or what have you. Um, but it actually sounds pretty good. It gets fairly loud. The colors are nice. The app is super easy to use. This is the box it comes in. It's well protected, even though apparently UPS decided to play kickball with it. Um, so it's a 45 millimeter speaker, has a four watt uh, light power output, five watt speaker power output, 560 lumen output, and temperature, color temperatures range from cool white 65 to 7, 6500 to 7000 and warm white 2800 to 3000. Uh, on the bottom of the box is a QR code or you can just go to the Google store which I did and type in magic lamp and there's also iOS uh, related information as well. That is echoed in the user manual found here and here and then there's some little step-by-step -step, shows you some of the things and then there's some uh, specifications and some troubleshooting and it's both in English and Chinese but it's very simple so uh, real quick I'm gonna give you um, an example of some audio text message you can see you can see some ringtones. You can see some colors flashing. Um, and so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna back up. So I don't know if you can really see it, but I'll try to show you the app. So you basically have the color wheel here. You can see the different colors changing. You can do white light and change the color temperature. You have the on and the off button right in the center and then you have this slider so if you want to get brighter and dimmer you can do so and then over here you have rhythm or non-rhythm that of course is why you saw the flashing so when there's audio playing you can have it flash and then your music is automatically picked up on your phone I don't really have any music on my phone most of mine is streaming I just have two songs I use for demonstration purposes um, and that's it um, the main app this is what it looks like you have your little um, gear icon and your plus icon and then the magic uh, lamp here which you can see connected so if you want to connect more than one uh, you should be able to do that you've got the headphones that you can have that turn green or you can tap it and turn it off and you can hit this and that um, is kind of like the on and off so it basically turns the light off and on like that so you can see that in the background and if we touch over here that gives us our different options. I'm gonna go ahead and change it to color so you can see a multitude of colors. Now what I'm gonna do, you, you kinda got a little bit of audio. Obviously I can't play a lot because I don't have a lot of music on my phone and I didn't see and I can't find any options to stream music through the app, which would be really, really great. Uh, maybe that'll come with some future updates, but I wanted to show you what this looks like. So I'm gonna back this off and you can see this box. It's only about an 18 inch box, but you can see that the colors change. It's very quick and of course the brightness as I mentioned can be turned way down so if you're looking for some very small subtle lighting um, that's not an issue. And again you can change to just white light and color you can turn it off you can turn it on so this is probably something that'll end up in the computer room in the light there but it's easier to show you in the demonstration here uh, of course this is LED you know you've got your plastic and you've got your speaker cone here so there's no heat issues you know to worry about again the app is very simple to use um, I connected it via Bluetooth uh, outside of the app I guess you could do it either way if you wanted to and then I went into the app and told it connect it's very very easy to do um, if you have questions I'd be glad to answer them I'm sorry I don't have any real music on my phone I, I never put things on there like I say you have streaming options why why uh, load your phone up but um, by any means that 
is pretty much all there is to say about this. I'll go ahead and turn that off that way. Undo this. So, again, there's no heat. And this very sturdy, very strong plastic has a nice feel to it. A little bit of weight. Um, so it's a little heavier than your typical light bulb, but it feels very nice in, in terms of the quality. Of course, you've got, like I say, your little speaker here. And um, it actually gets fairly loud. So you're going to be able to fill a room uh, with sound pretty good. You're not going to get a lot of bass, but that's to be expected from a speaker this small. So I wanted to show you what that looks like. Um, I don't know if there's any measurements, but if you want more specifics, you can check out the uh, details page. You know, it's about a five inch. So if you have something that's shallow or deep depth as far as the actual piece that you're going to put it into, um, you know, it's about five inches in length. For the diameter, it's probably a little fatter here, but it's going to be a little harder to measure there. Um, you're probably right, well, a little under two and a half inches. Uh, this way, you are right at two and a quarter inch, uh, roughly. So, it gives you some idea of the size and whether it'll fit for where you uh, might be able to use this or intend to place it. So hopefully you find that helpful. Again, check out more information in the link below the video. And I just think these are kind of cool. They're nice to have. Unless you're looking for a lot of bass, if you're just looking for some sound, uh, something a little subtle in the background type, or maybe put it in a bedroom and have some music to go to sleep to. Um, I think it's great for things like that. It's not going to be your, your go-to solution for a party, of course. And uh, again, you're not going to get really a lot of bass. You get a little bit, but nothing too awfully impressive in that regard. Um, other than that, it doesn't get hot. The colors are very nice, and it is simple to use with the app. All right. Thank you. Okay, just a quick update. If you're using this and you want to stream music, you can basically just uh, switch to the app while you're still running the um, the Magic App or Magic Lamp app. Like, basically, I'm in the Magic uh, Lamp app right here, and if I just go back to home, and uh, well, I'm just going to go here because I already opened it. But go to Amazon Music, for example. If I hit that. You can hear that it actually is playing um, so you can stream through this as well it's just not within the app so you'll have to kind of switch between the two but not a big deal still works really well but hopefully they'll add um, some kind of way to interface with that in the uh, actual app maybe at some point I don't know but that would be ideal uh, for simplicity's sake but it's very easy to just switch to whatever you want to do uh, with your phone it will play back fine so just want to share that real quick add that in Hopefully that's helpful. Thanks again.